consumer stocks are reliable stocks or reliable companies that become really popular as we head into a recession. And if you follow the business news, we're expected to go into a recession. So I wanted to you know, share a consumer stocks video and kind of share a few fundamentals about the uh, particular sector and offer up a few ideas of stocks that are, are good stocks to consider as we go into a recession. A couple of things about this sector, it's underperforming the S&P index, which has been really driven by large cap stocks. Consumer stocks tend to pay dividends, which is really nice at any time, but especially in recessions, especially in down markets. So I think it's it's agreed that we're you know going into Q3 or in Q3 of 2023, we're going into a recession. It's going to be a soft landing from most predictions. It might be a little harder than we would like, but we're going into that recession. So consumer staples have not been outperforming the S&P. In fact, the S&P is doing really well year to date, 16%. Uh, the consumer staples sector is actually negative. So it's, it's quite suppressed. Uh, over the long haul, you're not aiming to really, you know, double your money every five years or so. But you're really seeing for consistent long-term appreciation, along with a really nice dividend. So it's a different expectation out of consumer staples. But as you can see, consumer staples tend to be really good late in a growth cycle, which is exactly where we're at, and very good during recessions. So this is about the right time to take a look at consumer, consumer staple stocks. Consumer staple is a very big sector with different categories like beverages, uh, consumer staples, distribution, retail, food products, household products, personal care products, and tobacco. You might recognize some of the companies like Walmart, Procter & Gamble, Coca-Cola, Costco, uh, Palm Mall, uh, Unilever. So these are companies that you probably are buying the stuff in your grocery store and bringing it home. I'm going to focus in on food products. And the reason for it is I, I, it's a category that I am comfortable around and I've invested in. That sector in its own, it hasn't been set in any appreciation records. You know, for the last month, it's down 5.59%. Last three months, down 7.18%. Year to date, it's down 10% as, a, as an industry within this sector. I'm going to cover two food stocks that I own and have tracked for some time. The first one is ADM, Archer Daniels Midland. And this stock, um, I believe, is discounted by 9%. If you want a detailed analysis of this company, I have a, another video on my channel. You can look for it and you can get step-by-step -step you know, valuation on this stock. But it's a small discount at 9%, but it's a very stable company that's been profitable for many years and produces free cash flow. They also pay a dividend of 2.26%. These are conservative investments. So they're not you know, aiming to double every five years, but at the same time, you're not going to lose a lot of money either when they have a downturn in the stock. Kroger is the big grocer. And they're doing, you know, some exciting things. They're acquiring Albertsons. I have a detailed video on Kroger on my channel. You can see the, you know, step-by-step -step valuation of that company. But I believe they're discounted a little bit more at 38%. So they offer a nice discount upside. And with that acquisition of Albertsons, they're just going to have greater capacity to sell and probably just be more efficient. Kroger has been around for more than 100 years. They've proven to be a very good operator of grocery stores. Management team is excellent. So I really uh, like that investment and feel like it's going to go up in value. They pay a 2.54% dividend. So two consumer staple options in the food category that I'm invested in. I'm glad I got them in the portfolio. Again, not everything in my portfolio needs to be growth related because what 2022 taught us is, you know, technology really did, did get punished. And in 2022, both of these investments did okay. And uh, so as we go into recessions or downturns, these are the stocks that really show up tall during those times. Diversifying into consumer staples is smart and you wanna diversify into quality. I showed two examples of a couple of, of companies that I believe in. Do your homework and find consumer staple stocks that are, that are quality in your eyes that you really can 
really study their financials, value the companies, and really be in it for the long haul. It should be an investment that you you find that the results of that investment being a dividend and stable but increasing value of these stocks, that's what you're looking for out of these stocks. You know, you're not expecting them to be the next, you know, NVIDIA that goes up 250% in, in one year. You're really expecting just some moderate appreciation over time with a nice dividend. And it should fit your portfolio and what you're looking for out of that investment. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found it interesting. And do me a favor and like my video and also subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate that. With that, let me wish you good luck investing in 2023.